All right, guys, first cast. First cast bass fishing. Cranking up in this little channel here. Yeah, so I saw a ripple. All right, nothing on cast one. There's definitely some activity up in this brush here. It all looks like small fish, but there's definitely some activity up here. Oh, fish, 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 fish. I got hit right off this little clump of sticks here. I may have been a hit. It's a very lazy hit if it was one. Ooh, there's some fish activity. That was a fish. Let's see, something we can get to bite. Something definitely swirled up in there. Fish. That was a good stick. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a big swirl. That was a good fish right there. There we go, on, on. Little one. Little one. Crushed it though. I think there's another one with him. Little one. All right, first bass of the year. First one of the year, not bad. It's this uh, natural colored spinnerbait. Little one, probably a couple pounder. Nice healthy fish though. All right, get him back. Water is cold. I don't have my uh, fish finder graph with me, but water temp's probably 38, 40 degrees. And that fish hit, I don't know, probably half a cast length in, right on the middle of the channel. Channel is probably five or six feet deep. And I couldn't see my spinnerbait, so my spinnerbait was down a little ways. Hopefully that's a good sign. I'll continue down this channel a ways. I weren't going to initially. I was initially only going to go to this beaver hut over here. But I may go another bend or two and uh, see if I can tie into another fish. All right, we're going to head back to the main lake. Ooh, fish coming. Oh, it's buried. Bad move on my part. I had a fish coming from quite a ways away. But I ran it in some grass. That fish would have hit for sure. That was a bad mistake. Oh, that was a bad... Oh, there's a fish. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, he came off. You gotta be kidding me. I didn't get a hook set on him. Didn't get a hook set. Dang it. That one was, that was a good one. That was a good one for sure. Dang it. There's a bunch of fish over here. Bunch of fish. There we go. Oh, is that a pickerel? Oh no, that's a nice bass, nice bass. Nice bass. There we go. That one's a little better. That's what we're looking for. That bass is a little better. Directly after that one I just missed, it's definitely a couple fish on this shoreline. That's what we're looking for, bass like that. Definitely an upgrade from that small one I caught in the stream. So hopefully there's a few more on this shoreline. Oh, off he went. Well, easy release. I was gonna try to get a, a picture of him. All right, hopefully we're on a pattern. Can't be the only two fish. Gotta be a couple more. Oh yeah, a bunch of fish up there. Fish right in front of me, just had a bump. All right, come on, gotta get another one. There is so many fish up there. 
so many fish over there. Everywhere I cast, I'm, I'm spooking fish. Look at the fish up here. I'm spooking them though. There's fish all over this place. There we go, got him, got him. Got that one, I saw that one come in. Oh, nice little bass. Another solid one, just about the same size as the last one. I don't know if something hit my lure there or if it hit bottom. They're really healthy in this lake. Nice solid bass. I'm gonna get this one back. So the key has been long casts with these fish there. There's a bunch, yeah, see another one. Everywhere I cast, I spook one. Uh, the fish are pretty fussy today. I wish I would have brought another rod with me. I only brought this one. And I don't know, maybe if I threw something a little softer, something like a fluke or something like that. I do have some flukes with me, but I mean, they're responding to the uh, spinnerbait. But I almost wonder if they'd respond a little better to something a little softer. And this is what these bass are hitting on. This is a half ounce spinnerbait, just in a natural pattern. And I like using fast baits. You know, for you that have been following my channel, that's no surprise. I like using fast baits uh, first thing in the spring. And we're only like two days after ice out, three days after ice out. And half of these fish are aggressive, the other half, I'm just spooking them. All right, we're gonna get off the shoreline. I saw these kids over here. Uh, they were up this way a little further towards me. So I'm sure if there are fish there, they're probably either out of there or they're spooked. So we're gonna go over to this far shoreline and uh, see if we can find another pocket of fish. This is really, really strange, folks, for this lake. This soon after ice out, early spring, on any normal year, I can paddle over this little section right here. It's completely unpassable right now, but normally I can skate a kayak. I can almost skate through that early spring, and I couldn't even start to get through that right now. We are unfortunately still considered drought stage up here in Maine. And it is definitely, definitely showing, unfortunately. I see something that looks like an ice fishing trap over there. Looks like we have an old beat up, busted up uh, ice fishing trap over there. I think that's an ice fishing trap. Definitely an old ice fishing trap. Not something you find every day. I can barely read the name on it. It's a busted up ice trap. It's an old Thompson. These are actually really good ice traps. Not something you find every day. Pretty well beat up ice trap. I can barely make out the Thompson logo on it. These are actually really nice traps. Uh, these traps were made quite some time ago in Maine. I'm not sure how long ago they stopped making them. But these are definitely a quality trap. But pretty cool find nonetheless, even though it's completely non-functional. Still pretty cool to find stuff like that. Well, the shoreline was a bust, folks. I fished probably a quarter of a mile section, maybe. I'm going to hop back on the shoreline that I was catching fish on but about that same amount of distance down about a quarter of a mile down i'm just about done i'm just about wrapping up i'm just gonna fish this little section of shoreline here then i'm gonna head back to the launch all right folks we are wrapping it up there that was just over two hours of fishing and and didn't do too bad you know for just a couple hours found that one good pocket of fish and really couldn't find them anywhere else with the exception of that small one i caught in the stream I couldn't find any other fish. I tried a couple different spots on that same shoreline. I tried the opposite shoreline and I just couldn't find them. And unfortunately, the lakes are super low. This is the lowest I've ever seen this lake. We're, we're unfortunately in a drought pattern still. We haven't got a ton of rain up here in Maine. So I'm sure that affected the bite a little bit. You know, normally the fish would be up here a little better, but they just weren't up here like they normally are. And I'm hoping to get into some trout and salmon trolling this weekend. And I'm also hoping to get the fly rod out this weekend, if not this weekend, uh, definitely next week I'll have the fly rod out. 
But we're going to sign off there, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.